Okay, in the last video, we talked about the final keyword and using that with variables. In this video, we're going to talk about using the final keyword with methods and classes. And essentially, the concept is the same. And it's a very simple concept. It involves something that you do not want to change. And so you can use the final keyword to lock down a method or a class in the same way you can do that to a variable. So what I did here is I just set up a class called address that returns an address. And then I extended off of address to create another class called another address, which gives us yet a different address. And so what we're doing, of course, is we're doing an override here. We've got a method called get address and we got another method up here in our super class called get address. So in our subclass, we're going to override that and put in some new code. And that is how the final keyword relates to methods and classes. It involves inheritance. And so you are blocking inheritance. So what, what we're basically saying is you cannot override this method down in the subclass. So let's go up into our super class and let's stick the final keyword in front of this and you'll notice now we get IntelliSense that says cannot override get address because the method in the super class is now final so I have basically said the code up in here is rock solid it cannot be redone down in this class so this method now is basically invalid now if I put a one on the end of this it's unique and then the IntelliSense goes away because this is again a unique method now, the same applies to classes. So let's actually get rid of the final keyword here. And then we can go ahead and get rid of the one. And now we can go ahead and override and inherit this method. Now let's stick the final keyword in front of our super class. And you'll notice now we can't inherit from the address super class. This subclass is no longer legal. And that's exactly what the IntelliSense tells us. We are now blocking anybody from extending off of our super class. So the class is basically by itself now. There is no inheritance hierarchy. Now, one of the main reasons is that because this class might do a very specific function that doesn't need to be repeated or doesn't need to be extended upon. So the class and method do something that you really don't need additional functionality to, so you can put the final keyword in front of it. And actually a lot of the classes that Java provides, you will notice that they have the final keyword in front of them. Now the other reason is for performance, and that is because using the final keyword gives you a slight boost in terms of performance at runtime. And the reason is, think about it for a second, if at runtime only this class has to be executed uh, and it doesn't have to go through an inheritance hierarchy and resolve all of this, obviously this is going to move a little bit faster. And so that's one of the reasons as well. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to start getting into some more advanced topics. We're going to start talking about collections as well as generics. And see you guys then.